Alright, we are just outside the border. Uh, we are on our way to Mozambique. We're going to go to Santa Maria. Um, but we're first going to sleep over at Punta del Wall tonight. It's just about hop, skip and jump over the border. Um, and tomorrow we're going to travel through to, to Santa Maria. We're going to stay at Bermugis there. We're not traveling through to Bermugis because it's, it's only about 107 kilometers from Porto de Or, but um, it's, it's a dirt road and it takes about three hours. So we don't want to, after a 19 hour travel to get to Mozambique, still travel three hours in the dirt as well. We, we want to rather do that tomorrow and enjoy it. So at the moment we're on the N4 and so just outside Pretoria and it's about 95 kilometers so we're going to turn off close to Middleburg Okay, okay What are you looking at? Huh? What are you watching? The Tau Transylvania Again? No, this is my issue here You're speaking English? It's my first time
Okay, this little Mia. At the Muggies. <laughs> so relaxing. Uh, that's where we're heading to, in Haka Point. And that's the road ahead. I see the beach! I see the beach. Left or right? Yeah, right. Why is it foot bikey? What? I don't think it's a foot. We're now waiting in Hawker Point. We left the car now. And we're walking further. Just becoming too narrow to drive. Bara in Naka. Yeah, Bara has been bought in Bara, <laughs> Mozambique. 
And in Haka has been bought here at the Mugis, no, close to in Haka Island. <laughs> so Bara has been painted already and in Haka still has to get its colours. Because I just bought him. Bara ah. is two years old in Yaka zero years old. Now at Ponta Abril, it's about a 15 minute drive from Santa Maria. Look at that unbelievably beautiful coastline, stunning. We are here at Punta Abril. Look at the beautiful scenery here. This is gorgeous. So we're gonna it's about a 15 minute drive from Santa Maria. Um, so we're gonna look at the yacht now. Actually ran the shore here and tried to get it out but then we look good so it's just in there now. So we're on our way there now. Just have a look here, this is the March, April school holidays and there is nobody on the beach except for that it's it's a a I think one other family what? and that's it, that's the only people on the beach Yes, Mia, Mia, come tell us I love it, it's an beach I think Okay, so it's quite beautiful here Clapping, clapping, clapping Clapping here, so we're on the way to the shipwreck now
here is that some places it's a toss up between you can't drive too fast because the road is so bad you're going to damage the car the trailer on the other hand you have to go fast to have momentum so it gets stuck in the sand so it's a difficult one at some places four and a half hours of this We enjoy it. What happened here? The guy come from the front, somebody has to reverse. It's only a single track. the door, the axe and the panga sign on the door. So we got a little bit of bad news. Um, Mia crept in her pants. No I didn't! Oh didn't you? Oh sorry, no that wasn't bad. Um, remember we helped the guys with the petrol? Petrol? No petrol? So at that stage when I wanted to open my car at the back to get to the drawer where the little spout is that you put in the jerry can, I took the, the trailer's nose wheel off and I put it down on the trailer and then when I drove off, after we pulled up with petrol for them, I forgot to put the nose wheel back. So we were traveling for about half an hour and then we discovered uh, the nose wheel. So, we went back, not really thinking we're going to get it, but we have to try. And uh, we went back, and yes, the guys still in the road. So the first thing is, they lied to us about the pet. Because they're still fixing their car, they're in the engine. So it means that everybody's coming around and asking them what's wrong, they just say, the petrol. And everybody's so generous and helped, we nearly put about 15, 20 liters into the car now. And we lost the nose wheel. And then uh, when we're driving now, we actually hit a huge rock or something with the trailer. So the rim of the trailer is big. And what else did you lose? I lost my knife. <laughs> the nice thing is now I can get a new knife. But it's the same, it's, it's, a beautiful, it's a beautiful knife, but luckily not a very expensive one. So it's not the end of the world. Daddy, can you just buy a new one? But you know the other lucky day, our lucky thing is today is our tenth wedding anniversary. So uh, 
a good day. Okay, we're now almost at uh, Lake Zuali. And I left this Ponta Mimbeni. And uh, we've been driving now for half past eight, half past nine, half past ten, half past eleven, half past twelve. About four hours. What? So uh, we're going to take a little break now. Right, we're still about 70 kilometers from Ponta de Oro this stage. That's the road to Bedding. And uh, of that, about 30 kilometers is dirt road, like we've been driving the last three hours. So, so far this holiday, I've lost the nose wheel of my trailer and I've lost my knife, but I haven't lost my wife. Yeah. And today is our 10th wedding anniversary. It was closed four days ago. Okay, it's baby. Hello. Hey, Surika, checking the map. I think we must go now. That way. <laughs> that way. Right, so uh, we spent the day driving back from Santa Maria to Port Sagaro. Took us about seven hours. <coughs> and now we're at the little restaurant here at Port Sagaro and we're going to have something to drink. And we're going to pitch tent for the evening. And tomorrow we're driving back to Ireland, Pretoria. So a small little celebration tonight. It's our 10th anniversary and uh, yeah, nice evening. Did you know that the name? The Love Cafe in Port Auto Orb and uh, it's a special moment, it's our 10th birthday anniversary. Our 10th what? A wedding Birth anniversary. Our <laughs> 10th wedding anniversary, we'll just cut that part out. <laughs> and uh, yes, Mia, Mia, come here. Come here. Mia was part of this 10 year journey, poor child. Okay. She was there right from the very beginning. In fact, she's the reason why everything started. Um, so, yeah, we had a beautiful day. We came from Santa Maria. It was a long day. We traveled about 6 hours, but we formed a lot the longer the drive. That took a lot of time as well. And now we're just going to have a Drinker. She ordered the Medita and I ordered the R&R, &R. it's like the favorite drinking in Mozambique. Mia ordered the Coke. Because they stand there's milkshake on the menu, but then they say there's no milkshake. But there's no milkshake, so Mia's quite cheesed off at this stage. <laughs> so after this, we're going to look for a place to camp for tonight. And, um, and then we're going to pitch camp. After that, we're going to swim in the ocean. Uh, uh, we're first going to swim and then set up camp. Okay, swim and then set up camp. And after that, now we're first going to take out the steaks to defrost because tonight we're frying steak and chips. The last time we made it was sort of way in Botswana. Yeah. So tonight is after that. So, baby, happy 10th anniversary. Love you. Love you too. Thanks for sticking up with me.
Okay, now in the streets of Ponta de Hor. Yes, where you buy all your shopping. This place is all place vibrant and alive. And yes, we buy our pals. That's the bread. Ah, on this side too. Pastelaria Bakery. <laughs> and here is the stand where I bought my Mozambique SIM card. And you buy all your data here as well. Pay. It's the product. They actually upload the SIM card for you and to buy data here, it costs you 80 rand for a gig. Those coconut can. Nice pretty pretty sauce. And here are some of the places where you can stay in Mozambique. Amazini Lodge, Coco Cabana, Sapphire Sands, Gala Gala Eco Resort. Try in Wave Lodge. Shipwreck restaurant. What about them? Restaurants. My wife wants to go there. And this is one of those busy intersections here in Ponta Rua, Mozambique. Yeah, you can buy anything next to the street. You can buy a SIM card, you can buy clothes, you can buy food, cigarettes, liquor, everything. Hello, baby. So we are on our way to the camp now, we're going to set up camp there. So this is the guy that tends to get me on the street. To spend my money, what, what's your name? Andre. Huh? Andre. Andre. So it's your bar list. Andre's bar. So you go get customers outside. <laughs> That's very I'm, good. I'm going out to. It first, works. Right? The moment you call me, three guys stop there. Because if I'm here alone, I don't have a job. Like I don't know it. <laughs> Wonderful man. So I'm going out to get my job. <laughs> Fantastic. So it's the good business as well. The good business. Yeah. Andre. And then I've got that slash one. It is a line one. The Dodger. Okay. The best Dodger. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
diestras. Here we are in front of Andre's bar. Andre's bar. Here you go, and Sirika is helping us. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes for the wind. Look at that spike. Looking good. Oh, not boiling it. Can I get there? Okay, and there's our little kitchen for the evening. It's okay, it's okay, George, it's okay. Okay, we got some stray dogs here. Yeah? Seven. Seven of them. They're looking after us very well. So we took one of our pals. What they call this Mozambique and bread pals. And uh, one of our tins of bully beef. And we're going to make them something nice to eat. Of course, they're so look, looking after us so well. Okay, there we are having some rusks. It's Daddy just show. past six now. We're going to show, show photograph the sunset show if we don't lose it. Yeah, yeah. What me out? Talk. What do you want to say? Hello, doggy. This is one of our little. <laughs> little dogs, one of the eight dogs that we had to feed last night. They ate all the food we had for the road today. <laughs> <coughs> so now we have to buy food. But like my other son Bertie said, we can buy food, they can't. And look at this incredible offer of vehicle that this guy is built staying next to us. This is like a tank, man. I'm not for the dog. Very soft there. Thank you both, but uh, that stuff is soft. I just wonder all these people in these houses, how do you get to the top with your groceries?
Genie. Chucky. Brave. What? Brave. Brave. I thought I'm brave. But his name is Brave. At the back, there is Ponta de Oro. That's where we're staying. Yeah. Nice ad for Standy. Since 1913. We're now in 2019, so these guys are obviously hanging in there. And there's Surika with the drone. Will it come back? Yes or no? It's because I'm flying. Ah! Here we are, last morning at Ponta de Oro. Beautiful, just look at that. The drone's name is Frankie. We also give your drone's names. Because the owner of DJI's name is Frank. Frank Wong, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> yeah, I see like it. Are you now? Mm, I don't know. At the border. Which border? The Mozambique border? Not the, is it, isn't this the USA border? I don't know. I really don't know. Is this the Guatemala border? No. South America? No. Okay. Why do you help her? I do with say Viet. There is the South Africa. Okay, so we're now entering the town of Monguzi. Monguzi. It used to be Khan Guanase. So we're going to fill up with petrol here. And uh, we're about 610 kilometers from her. We're going to start with her journey back. This is Monguzi. Basically a small little town with a lot of informal 
businesses right next to the road selling everything. Oh, this way we always put petrol in. We go to Mozambique. We check all the tires me as well, please. 2.2. Huh? How many tires? 2.2. 2.2. Trailer everywhere. Okay. What's your name? Everyone. Who? Bongani. Bongani? Yes. Really? Yeah. And a lot of Bongani. <laughs> so you stay here? Yeah, I'm staying in Bongani. Nice. Yeah, nice. Why did you change the name? Uh, but I did not change the name. That's the only one name. Huh? That's the only one name. The Kwan Mangashi. Why did they change that to Mangushi? I never know it. I never know. So on the way back, we took quite a nick on this tire. On this rim. You see this? I'll have to go and check that out. Let's have petrol in South Africa, 14 rand 67 cents per liter. So this is Alistair, he's the owner of the Total in... What's his place Manguzi. now? Manguzi. Manguzi. I'm still at Kwa Manganasi. Manguzi? And uh, part-time tire fixer? Not at all. Jy gaan slaan. I found a Kniesio rim in Anadas. That's a off-road trailer, right? Eh? Like a mobile, mobile lodge. You know what? Maybe. That is, I think, it's much better. Eh? Let's. Uh... So we're leaving Manguzi. Uh, next stop is we're probably going to stop at Josini at the dam wall and show you the dam wall there. Very, very big piece of dam. It used to be the Pangora dam, now the Josini dam. And that's about, I think, 200 plus kilometers from here. Really? Yeah, more or less. Okay. Thanks. It's my wife, Sirika, driving. Okay, you know in charge, so you must tell us what's happening, where we're going. We're gonna stop at Josini Dam. Yes. Nice dam. Good dam. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we're at the Josini Dam wall. Surika has been doing the driving for the last hour and a half. Or hour. these little towns there's hundreds of people and cars and little vendors next to the road and, filth. and everyone just selling everything and animals walking around everyone is making his money in his or her own way that's the one thing about South Africans we are very ingenuitive
Just look at this old caravan. Been such a long time since I saw one like this.